Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today, as we are beginning to enter spring, I thought I'd share with you a few of the things I'm most looking forward to delving into and maybe give you a little bit of inspiration and also give myself some inspiration. The signs of spring are just beginning to peek out here. You can see the starts of nettles and all of the little early spring weeds and flowers are starting up. It's not quite to the part where I'm the most excited, where I can begin working with everything again, but it is just a few weeks away and I am so beyond excited. And so I figured uh, that this would be a little way to kind of feed that excitement and also just uh, get through this little last bit of winter until uh, spring is fully here. So without further ado, let's delve into this, shall we? First and foremost, I am most looking forward to gathering nettles. There are so many things you can do with nettles. They are among my favorite uh, home protective herbs. They make a wonderful addition to teas and soups. I like to hang them up in my home next to windows or doors. This kind of serves a dual purpose of helping them to dry, to use later in teas or uh, in other spells and situations, but also by having them by the thresholds, they're protecting the space. They're also a beautifully healing herb, both medicinally and magically, filled with tons of nutrients and good things that your body needs, especially after the long winter months. Thus, the great addition in food and tea. But they also have a lot of healing folklore tied to them and have commonly been hung above beds or placed in vases beside people who are sick or in need of healing and uh, just make a really good addition to a space to invite vitality and strength. So while they are just peaking up now, soon they will be so tall and beautiful and perfect for a harvest. They do bite a little bit with their sting, but uh, once they're dried or cooked, that those stinging hairs won't get you anymore, and uh, they're just one of my favorite plants, and I am so, so excited to get to see them in full soon. The next project I'm really looking forward to, which has become a spring tradition of mine, is making violet syrup. I do just a simple syrup to make it. It's nothing complicated. It's not really a medicinal based syrup that I often make. It is simply one for joy and beauty. But it is truly so wonderful. It tastes of spring. It's so green and fresh and I love to add it on top of cakes or uh, other sweet treats. It's just a beautiful thing to bring out. You can give it as a gift or just share it at a little thing with people, invite somebody over, add it to a drink or just something simple like a breakfast item. And it's exciting and cool and it's something that you've made yourself. It's such a beautiful craft to work and engage with the earth. You have to collect a good handful of violets and spending that time to connect with the nature around you in these days just really breathes new life into me. And then spending the time to prepare the syrup and make it and experiment with the colors, adding the lemon juice to make it pop because beforehand it's pretty blue and then all of a sudden it is this beautiful purple. It's just a fun experiment and it feels really wonderful to help get you back into nature. Besides, violets tie very strongly to love and I always find that it brings a lot of that love and joy back into my life. And finally, the thing that I am perhaps the most excited about is to continue working on my lilac perfume that I started last year. I didn't start early enough and I didn't have enough uh, lilacs to really get the scent trapped strongly within the uh, fat that I was using. Lilacs are a very delicate flower and 
In order to capture the scent, it has to be done very tediously over the course of weeks into fat, and I was using shea butter to draw out the scent. And I don't know about you, but lilacs just are one of the most beautiful, homey smells, scents to me. It just immediately takes me back to my childhood and that intense joy of spring. Not to mention, lilacs are very protective in nature and loving, and so wearing that scent is a really powerful and beautiful uh, way to um, engage with those properties in your life. But I love the tedious nature of this craft, and it was something that really brought a lot of joy to my mornings. I just would sit down every day and swap out the violets sitting, drinking coffee, or just kind of enjoying the morning light, and it was a wonderful purpose to wake up to. And I'm so looking forward to being able to do that again and hopefully being able to complete this craft properly. I still have the shea butter from last year and it is very faintly scented of lilac still. So hopefully I'll be able to get it perfect this time around. And those are the main things that I am the most excited about, at least craft wise. One thing I am so looking forward to is just being able to walk barefoot on the earth for a long period of time. It's starting to get to a point where I can here and there a little bit, but uh, they're not quite there yet. But that is one of my favorite things after winter's over is just being able to connect again like that and wanting to spend time out in the sun and with the greens starting, I can see the peaks of everything. As always, it's been a very cloudy winter here, and now the sun is starting to come out most days. It's out today, and it is so beautiful. This time of year just always brings a lot of hope and joy, and I truly, genuinely cannot wait. The energy that I get from the warmth and the sun and the plants, it's unmatched, especially after a long winter of a lot of darkness and very little uh, opportunity to craft with nature. So soon that will be very different and I'm so excited. Let me know if there are any projects that you're excited to get into. I would love some inspiration and some new ideas. A lot of the things that I'm looking forward to are rhythms of my regular season and I would love to try something new. Also let me know if there's anything that you want me to share with you in this spring season uh, that I maybe haven't yet or you want me to go over again. I would love to hear what you would like to see. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day. If you can, I would like to, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share art, herbal profiles, book recommendations, and monthly workshops on topics that you all decide. Also, if you'd like to see more content from me, please go check out my other channel. There I share vlogs of my day-to-day -day life. It's more creative, far more herbalism and magic and cooking, all of those fun things. So if that's something you're looking for, it's over there. Both my Patreon and my other channel will be linked in the description down below. So thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you soon.